Sour Patch Loving Virgo and Pop Dust is great. We are here with the lead singer of Mount Joy. Could you introduce yourself to the people? Also, your favorite candy, um, your birth year, um, what else are the, the fun facts? And then just like a third fun fact. Okay, I'm Matt Quinn, I'm a Virgo, and my favorite candy mm -hmm. is Sour Patch Kids. Third fun fact. Well, yeah, we were just talking about Premier League soccer. Mm -hmm. I, I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, you put that right out. Yeah. Right out. We were just talking also about how I saw them open previously. Someone's showering in here, which I think is actually adding That's to gonna, the ambiance. It's going to be good. Um, <laughs> it's going to come out in a towel, excited to be here. I think we make him join the interview, yeah? Yeah, I mean, the depth of the couch might be tough for him, but... And, and we've made it work in our own way, yeah. and, and he could find... But with there. a towel, like, this would be... That would be revealing. Fun, yeah. um, and, you know, and we're looking for in-depth interviews, but not that in-depth. Um, anyways, so I saw you guys in Mount Joy with Rainbow Kid and Surprise. Um, it was amazing. It was an yeah. unbelievable performance. Um, now you guys are headlining here. How has that been? It's been great, yeah. Like, I think that was in... I want to say, like... Early 2019. Yeah, it was chill. I think it was chilly. It was cold. Yeah, that tour was amazing. Um, they have such an incredible fan base. I feel like we like fit in well and picked up some fans from that tour. And um, basically after that, went and like made a record in Portland. Yeah. Um, and have kind of come to this tour playing some new songs, and it's been off to like a pretty amazing start. Definitely like our best tour ever so best tour ever yeah and something that i on my way here i was listening to your album uh, which the cover art that's actually that's the first question yeah how did that come about it's amazing the guitarist in the band is uh his it was his college roommate i think or like a friend from college yeah. steve gerard who actually like lives in new york city and does like stand-up he's just like the truest artist in the sense of the word like he's an absolutely incredible uh like at drawing and visual art and these funny and weird ways that are like <laughs> kind of hard to put your finger on but yeah we're super lucky to have him yeah. and he's doing the art for uh, our next record as well oh, so cool so so what was the concept behind that image you know it, it's so chaotic and colorful and i think like if you go he has this um Shoot, it's like Stevie Eats Worms or something like that. Stevie Eats Worms. He has like worms. a tumbler. Like I don't even know if people still really do that, but from back in the day, he had all these sketches and like they're incredible, incredible drawings. They're super detailed, kind of like ours. Yeah. And he sort of was like, we're like, hey, we'd love to like work with you in whatever way we can. And he's like, you know, I'm super busy because he was like making a movie or something. Oh my god. Um, but if you find something you like, like I can alter it or, or whatever. And we found that drawing of his mm. from like years ago. And we're like, this is so cool and like fits what we're trying to do. And so songs like Sheep, for example, that's yeah. got such a sort of call to action. It's, it's political. And first of all, let's check it out on your muscles. How's the sitting? Yeah, so like I haven't sat cross legged like since like the 90s. Right. Uh, and I've grown since then. So it, <laughs> it's painful, but I feel like the couch. Do you think you maintain? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think we stick with it. Anyways, so songs like that. The songs with that sort of message and, uh, you know, social justice calling, where does that come from? How is that created? Honestly, after we wrote the song, the sort of epidemic with just police gunning people down, uh, yeah. specifically people of color, uh, and just that was right at the time of the election, so it was like, you know, is Trump going to become the president? Obviously, that happened, and it's made the song feel like almost more relevant because I mean actually the song originally the lyric was pigs mm. as in like cops yeah um, and then we sort of shifted it because we realized it's like there's just this larger thing of people being total sheep to mm. these like completely like I mean for us it just felt like someone voting for Trump isn't doing that because of any sort of ideology of their own or any like belief system other than that they don't like the other person, right? And so they're just totally following this guy down a path of destruction for no reason other than that they want to give the middle finger to somebody else. Right. So it sort of became more about that than specifically about police or whatever. So That's a very interesting contrast to, to the pig versus the sheep. The sure. Autonomous first the, the following. So then going forward as as you've been, you know, grows and obviously you've done so well in this last year particularly. Um, 
what do you see as, as what's next? Like, what's what's the message you're trying to send? What's the, what's the plan? I was in a really long relationship that ended, and it felt like there were just so many things changing, and I think a lot of the record's about, well, sort of about that change, but also trying to find, like, happiness in, like, kind of dark times, which felt also sort of relevant to what was happening outside. But, yeah, I think a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, just darkness, I guess, a little bit. So it's a little bit darker than this album, I think, or the most recent album. I think, like, there's definitely balance, but I would say on the whole, yeah. Wow. For you, you know, this is a such a specific life to choose, and how did that come about? Where did this come from? You know, because it's got to be a calling to commit to also. I was playing the song Silver Lining in college. I wrote that song in college, and it, like, it didn't go terribly, but it just never went to the level of like, this is going to be a career. And then it just, like, was always in the back of my mind. I always wanted to do it, I guess is the answer. But I think it just sort of, like, the opportunity randomly jumped up, which is sort of like a message, I guess, for everyone that it's just like, you never know when the, I know it's cliche, but you never know when, like, things are going to fall your way. So kind of just kept plugging, kept writing songs, and... Um, when I moved to LA, I basically recorded Astro Man in a friend's living room and started showing it to people and the rest sort of became obvious that I should do it. Everybody else in the band, how did they come into it? What's, what's the story of like, the creation of the group? Sam and I uh, were in LA together when like that Astro Man sort of thing started and like realized pretty quickly we would need a band if we were going to play shows. Literally went on Craigslist for like, let's find a basis first. I don't, Know why exactly, but we did. We found a bassist, and Michael, our bassist, turned out to be a totally normal person, a non murderer, and an amazing bass player. And he was super connected to a bunch of people in like the LA music scene. And he immediately was like, um, I know who I would want to be the drummer, and Satiri is like really deep in the it's ocean right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's all the way down the train. <laughs> uh, but he was our drummer up until today. And then. Uh, before Diamond Show, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Jackie, who is an incredible piano player, just like, again, through, I think just through meeting people kind of in LA, we were just hanging out, yeah. telling everyone we needed a piano player, and finally um, told the right person. He was like, I know someone. Thank you so much. So, this has been. Matt Quinn. Yeah. Yes. Give Matt up a lot of Oh. Roger. And I'm a Sour Patch loving Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys say something about pop dust. Oh, I'm a Sour Patch loving Virgo, and pop dust is great. Dusty. 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 Nailed it. <laughs>